Rage. Good Thursday morning to you. I'm Lana Hughes. And good morning. I'm J.P. Pritchard. Our top story. Ike just drew a little closer to Houston. The storm just over 500 miles away from Galveston. Now it's moving slowly. We all see this cone of uh, probabilities, and it uh, has right at the end of it uh, Houston, Texas. Ike, looks like it will be a very severe storm. Storm expected to make landfall overnight. Tonight, early in the morning, Galveston in its sights. Now it's imminent. It's coming. If you have young children, right. uh, you know, begin to prepare them. Just 15 miles to the west-northwest of Galveston. The swell along the coast on the back side of the eye wall could top 20 feet. 20 feet. Oh, man, it's windy. Now the slew of tornado warnings that have come out. Of course, they're riding out the storm in the 24-hour storm center. They'll be with you throughout this storm. Skaya, he is in Galveston. The uh, situation starting to get a little more dicey here. Some of the lower lying areas are now starting to flood. We've got several hours of hurricane force winds. I don't know what to do. I'm hungry. The worst is still yet to come. So we watched uh, the Transformers watch the sky. We were hoping it wasn't going to be as bad as it is. Water and waves are breaching the seawall at this point. Galveston is not a place you want to be. My, my shingles got knocked off the roof. I've got eight leaks in my house. I had to evacuate to my truck. My husband's on oxygen, and I just got out of the hospital. And we didn't have time to heed the evacuation warning, or we would have. And um, we just don't know if this is the end of our lives. Yeah, people just uh, going to get kind of stern around here uh, this morning. Uh, Long day ahead for you as you get ready to clean up. All right, when well, you guys are doing a good job, I've been up listening to your station since the lights went off. The whole town is without power. So not the time to venture out yet. There's nothing to come here for right now. We flew to Galveston. Uh, along the way, I'm looking out the window of the, of the helicopter. It's very difficult to see where land ends and the Gulf begins. Well, it's huge. It's huge. It's a catastrophe. As the bridge closed there, it is north and southbound. Between the curfew, it's in effect from sundown to sunrise for that city, effective immediately. About 1.99 million are still in the dark. And I'm Mark Sherman along with Bonnie Petrie with continuing live in-depth team coverage of Hurricane Ike. So we are going to recover. It's a story of recovery. The Sharpstown Mall pod location opened yesterday with nearly... No. Lana, the couple of stores in Katy opened. Well, I'm just proud to know you guys. You guys ought to get the Warrior Award. The No yeah, Sleep Award. How much ice is actually there at that location and how are you giving it away and how much are you giving away? We're giving away two bags of 12-pound ice each. Our dry ice is on the way. Lovely people reaching out to help each other. JP, Nano, Mike Berry, and all you guys, appreciate you. Keep up the good work. I really appreciate um, this radio station. We are continuing to make progress out here. My power just came up after four days, and I just wanted to call and thank you. We live in such a, an electronic society, you don't realize how much you miss getting that news. And just with the battery-powered radio, uh, you've helped us get through some pretty dark nights, so I just want to call and say thank you. You're, uh, you've been a great outlet, and uh, when I talked earlier on the, on the station, I said, glad to have you all back on the air, and you never were off. <laughs> Not for a God second. Bless you. Not for a second, Governor. We're here for you. It's going to be a long road. It's going to take some time. We're resilient here. We're working hard at it. Uh, that is, I think, a credit reflection on Texas. That's how I was raised. Anytime that you can help someone out, that's what you do. I'd like to thank you and your staff, and I think I speak for all listeners. Uh, we love you. We love you. We love you. We love you. I would like to throw out a big thank you to every anchor, news reporter, traffic reporter, board op, engineer, and staff member who kept us on the air during this very tough time. I'd also like to thank those account executives and sales managers who pitched in to deliver ice or answer phones. You've all heard me say, we entertain people and we tell them where to shop. But during this catastrophic time, we gave people critical information and we gave them hope. We all should be very proud of what we accomplished. And again, thank you very much.